Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on how to complete the Deck of Whispers cards in Destiny 2's new season, Season of the Witch. So, to start off, let's talk about the fact that there are 55 total cards to complete in this season. A lot of you will focus on the ones needed for the seal, which would be the 12 major and the 22 minor, but this guide is going to be talking about how to get all 55, which ones are what, and how to obtain them. First off, let's briefly go over the names of each card as seen on this image here. So, we've got, for the major cards, the Sisters, the Witch, the Adherent, the Harbinger, Blades, Lacuna, Liminal, Ascension, Lament, the Lie, the Truth, and a secret one that we don't know the name of yet. And then for the minor cards, we have Empowered Unlocking, Keeper of the Keys, Empowered Rewards, Witch's Boon for Sabbath and Spire, which is boon for Altars of Summoning, Empowered Spire Crystals for Arc, Solar, and Void, an Extra Offering Shrine for the Altars of Summoning, Seven Witchcrafting Items, Whispers of Power 1, Whispers of Power 2, One Ascendant Shard, Two Enhancement Prisms, Two Enhancement Cores, an Exotic Engram, a Feeble Offering, a Robust Offering, Powerful Offering, Four Witches Keys, Witches Engrams, recovered red war weapons and four secret cards so now that we've gone over what each card is let's talk about how to get them so before i talk about this keep in mind that this guide is based off of a lot of work that i've done in figuring out each upgrade which one they could release as where the locations are for some hidden things i'm 99 percent sure that i could be right about this but there's always that one percent that at least one or two things may be wrong so just a disclaimer i believe in my theories i'm figuring this out but each of the major arcana cards are tied to a weekly basis in some way so either way not all 12 can be obtained until later weeks but due to the tested and working theory that I have here, I believe I've figured out how some of these could release. So the major arcana cards for week one that we have access to already are the first five cards. They can be obtained by doing seasonal activities. For example, the first four unlockable from the secret shrieker boss in the Sabbath Inspire activity. This boss is only unlockable if players complete the puzzle correctly in the labyrinth before the final room, which means follow the runes and go in the correct doors. If all three players in your fire team do not, the Shrieker boss will not spawn. Once you get the Shrieker to spawn, you and your fire team will have to kill it really quick before it despawns, and you will be instantly given one of the four remaining cards. These cards that you should be able to obtain are the Sisters, the Witch, the Adherent, and the Harbinger. The fifth card that's unlockable during week one is Blades, and this one can be obtained from fully completing Altars of Summoning, which means getting the final reward from Eris after doing a few offerings. The remaining few cards should be unlockable from completing weekly story quests up until week 7. This lines up perfectly for the remaining cards because there are a total of 7 cards and 6 remaining weeks left in the season. Now, yes, I know a lot of you probably just got confused by that last statement. 7 cards, 6 weeks, how does that make sense? Well, it does actually because there is a second card that's unlockable this week during week 2 that drops the Truth Major Arcana card. This one drops after completing another major arcana card during the weekly quest line, thus leaving the last and final major arcana for the final week. So now that we've got all 12 of the major arcana cards out of the way, let's talk about the minor cards. This is all the minor cards we have. Now let's talk about how to get them all. So let's break this down a little bit further. Out of the 55 total cards, we know that 12 are unlockable from completing the major arcana, which leaves us with 43 cards remaining. Starting off, let's talk about the rank up rewards. The rank up rewards are as follows. Simply level up by doing Season of the Witch activities and you'll be able to get them all. So, taking out the rank up rewards, that now leaves us with 39 cards left. As of week 2, we've now been given access to attunements that allow us to choose between Solar, Void, and Arc attunements. Now, a lot of you have probably seen those cards that are hovering around in Sabbath Inspire or the Altars of Summoning. And this is how you obtain them. Starting with week two, we've got our first attunement. Week four, we have our second. And week six, we have our last and final one. We have to wait until week six to gain all of these attuned cards from doing every one of the three attunements. But this is how those attunement cards work. Also, during these attunement quest lines, we are given an extra minor card alongside the major cards as a bonus for what element we choose. So for me, I chose Solar during week two, and I gained an extra empowered card for Spire Solar Crystals. This takes another three 
out of the mix, leaving us with 36 cards total. Now that we've discussed the attunements, here are the cards that you can find scattered throughout Sabbath and Spire and Altars of Summoning that require attunements for each card. Oh, and there's also another one that's hidden in the Altars of Summoning right here. So with knowing that we have more cards obtainable to collect from these attunements as well, that leaves us with 28 more cards to collect. One more card that's unlockable right behind the Athenium. From the Lectern of Divination, go behind the altar structure and behind a tree next to a worm and collect the free card. Up next, let's talk about the upcoming Embaru Engine mission. This particular mission revolves around a beefier Altars of Summoning throwing us into different tests. These tests help us complete not only a secret triumph in the season of Witch Seal, but also progress our weekly questline. The weekly questline in particular also has a free minor card granting us entry to the Embaru Engine. So if we consider the fact that there's four secret cards remaining of the five, one being the entry card, then the remaining three cards should be unlockable from completing the tests in the Umbaru engine. Now at this point, a lot of you are probably wondering, well, why am I getting cards from Crucible or Gambit or any other activity outside Season of the Witch? Well, that's because any playlist activity has a chance to reward more cards each week. Unlockable during week one was eight different minor arcana cards. I've seen people get them from Crucible, some from Gambit, some from Nightfalls. I got all of them from playing Sabbath and Spire and Vanguard Strikes. So there's quite a few that have a possibility to release this way. If you obtain all of the eight cards available within week one, that gives us cards left with no way to obtain listed. And now as of week two, we've also gained another four extra minor cards from doing Sabbath and Spire or Vanguard Ops. It's most likely that for the remainder of the season during each week, we're going to end up with more cards to collect through these playlist activities. Unless, of course, there ends up being another three cards hidden in the Embaru engine, which is entirely possible. But that's basically how you get them all. So with that said, that should be how you get all 55 cards for the Deck of Whispers. Here's a little guide up on the screen in text format so you can see all of what I just described and not have to worry about 
piecing everything together. I just felt like it was much easier for myself to explain everything in the way that I did. Honestly, I really tried hard to put things together and figure out each upgrade, each minor and major card, where they fall into place on the lectern of divination. I really, truly hope this turns out to be true, because if so, I will be so happy to have figured this all out. But that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful in some way, shape, or form. And if you want to stay tuned for more seal guides and triumph guides in the future for Destiny 2, I'll always try my best to update anything and everything for this game. See you all next time, Guardians.